So my dad was killed. Papa wanje yishwe ico gihe. So we were taken to prison. Hanyuma dutwagwa muri gereza. It was my mom, yari mama wanje, my eight siblings, abavandimwe banje umunani. At that time, ico gihe my mother was pregnant. Ico gihe mama wanje yari yibongeze yaratwite. Being in prison with a, a pregnant woman is difficult. So we stay in prison for 16 months. 16 months is not easy. And don't forget that I was 16 at the age of 16. Those people decide when to give us food, when to not give us food. So one time they decide us to, to make us hungry for 15 days without food. You, you have eight kids and you're pregnant. What can you do? And then the kids are coming to you and say, Mom, give us a food. I remember one of my brothers came to my mother. And he said, Mom, please give us food. She took the same part and put the water and then put on the fire and put one of the small clothes in it. So she started boiling that just to give the child hope that something is coming. So the kids will not ask mommy we are hungry they will see that mom is cooking. And the took the boy on one side which my dad was among them. They would take them out every morning and they will put us in front of us where we can see and they will unclothe them and they will beat them up us watching them when they start killing all the Tutsi so my father was one of those people who got killed Forgive me. It is very emotional. My grandma died there. She, she died just because she couldn't bury the pen. Too long from those times that we were going through that trouble from my brother. She gave a birth in prison. You gave birth when everybody are watching, your kids are watching. And she couldn't, she, she could not even cry. She buried the pain. So, and the first baby came out. And she, she said, God cannot do that. So one of the commander came and said, I like this lady. He liked me. Yeah, that time I was young. I wasn't this old. So, and he said, if you give me your daughter, I will save your brother because he knew the case. He was, he had something to say. He can save who he's, he want to save. So he told me. I know it's shameful. I had to go and redeem my brother. And he says, 
So they send us to Kinshasa. But go here to Kinshasa. So at that time I was pregnant. Icho je nari inhuite. So when we went to Kinshasa, but to gie Kinshasa, they put us in, an, in another prison. But to kwara muindi gereza. Without food. Na birjo. He tried to kill me. Yagira keshe kuni cha. He burned my clothes when I was wearing my clothes. So sometimes those images will come into my mind. So they were at that time they were nine months. But they couldn't even wait two pounds. So shame took my life. So I say my life was over. I know it's shameful for for our people. Ndabizi yuko kuritwe ebyo biteye isoni. But that's my story. Ariko iyo niyo nkuru yanje. I would like to apologize before I start. Andasaba imbabazi mbere yo ntangira. I don't speak Kinyamurenge fungwe. Sinza mvuga Kinyamurenge cyane. I don't speak Swahili either. But I think I can speak more Swahili than my husband. We normally debate at home. He says he speaks more English, more, more Swahili. And every time he speaks Swahili, I normally feel like I can hide. Um, and then he says I'm the worst. Okay, so come and this is this is amazing. Two, two ladies sit standing on the purpose. It is in God's divine purpose. I would like to start by thanking God for the opportunity. I don't take this for granted. I will never take this for granted. Amen. Amen. Being here, it was God's divine purpose. So I thank mighty God for the opportunity. Amen. Amen. It's not because we cannot preach the word of God. But the word of God has been spoken since this morning. Amen. Our secretary starts. My husband proceeds. And then I can also carry on. We will never finish. But I think also it's good to give you some some testimony so that way you know that God can do mighty things Amen. Amen if you see me here I am a miracle walking God among those people who deserve to live I was not among them but God only God who is in heaven was pleased for me to live at such this good time amen amen when they were singing I wonder if these people really understand the song every song they touch it was about my life that's why sometimes when you are a guest it's so hard to be free you feel like people will say she's just a new why can she just worship freely but sometimes 
when you know what God has done in your life. Iyo uzi ico Imana yakoze mu buzima bwawe. You really don't look who's beside you. Ntushora gutekereza umuntu uri hafi yawe. You don't even think that you are a guest. Ntunatekereza kuri umushitsi. There was a time that I felt like I can come here and dance. Hari giye na niyumvise ngo kuza hano imbere no kubyina. And then I was like if I dance here these people will say Pastor's wife here we don't know if she's serious it was you quite silly but may the glory be be to God I will start by reading the word of God and then I will I will enter into my testimony ndaza kuba sangiza ijambo ry'Imana nyuma mushobore gukomeza ni ntahe yanje we gonna go in book of Matthew ndaza gusoma mu gitabo cha Matayo Matthew chapter 6 verse 13 and Matayo gatandatu 13 we will, we will read chapter 33 and 34 Hanyuma turasoma 33:34 This is what the Bible says But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will added will be provided for you Therefore don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own matayo gatandatu mirongo itatu na gatatu haravuga ngo ahubwo mubanze mushake ubwami bw'Imana no gukiyanuka kwayo nibwo ibyo byose muzabyongeregwa ntimukiganyire mutekeza ibyejo kuko abejo baziganyirira ibyejo umunsi wose ukwiranye nibibi byawo amen 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 i was born in god's house navukiye mu nzu y'Imana i had a good two parents who love god life ta byebe bombi babiri bakunda Imana i also have my grandparents who love god mfite naba sokuru nakaka bakunda Imana who serve god and their time bakore imanya mu gihe cabo i thank god for that ndashima imana kubwabo I really thank God for my parents ndashima imana kubwabo byebanje When we were growing up igiye twari go dukura it was a mandatory every single day yari tegeko ko buri munsi every single day buri munsi we will sit together twari chanaga hamwe my mother and my father will will preach the word of God to us ababyeyi banje bombi mama na papa bakatugiriza irambo ry'Imana so I am so thankful rero ndashima imana cyane kubwibyo Even though I grew up in God godly home ariko nubwo nakuriye mu nzu y'abantu bubaha Imana I told I was born again because my parents were born again Nge natekeje ngo buriya nari narakijwe ko ababyeyi banje bari bakijijwe which is is I'm not the number one and I'm not the last one I know some of you don't deny it you the same as me kandi ntimubihakane ndabizi sindi uwa mbere sindi no uwa nyuma hawe namwe mumeze nkanje mwari mumeze nkanje cyo gihe because our culture we all born in godly home kurako urabona mu muco wacu tuvukira twese mu magoya abantu bakijijwe especially those who were born back home cyane cyane abavukiye iwacu ruguru you you find yourself in god godly people around you everywhere mute ukura uri kubona abantu b'Imana bakorera Imana hafi yawe i really didn't know if our people sinned sinari nzi uko abantu biwacu bashumuraga I did not see that. Sinigeze mbibona. Everybody was lovely, everybody was bari abantu bakunditse, caring, bari abantu bitanaho. Any mother can care for you. Umubyeyi uwari wese washobora kwitaho. Any mother. Umubyeyi wari wese. I did see a mother feeding somebody else's child. Nigeze kubona umubyeyi umwe ari konsa umwana wundi. If you do that in America, you will go to jail. Ibyo ngibyo bikoreye muri America baragutwara muri muri prison. Baragufunga. If you do that in America breastfeed somebody else's child you will go to jail. Ibyo ngibyo bikore muri America ukonsa umwana wundi bagutwara muri So when you come there if you do it hide yourself. No no mbabwire ngo ni mwana aza muri America mukabikora muzihisha. But I did see mother raising somebody else's child before. Ariko narigeze kubona ababyeyi barera abana babandi mbere. But these days is not the same. Gusa ubu ngubu ntibikimeze nka mbere. I know you can deny it but you can accept it but it is not the same. Ndabizi mushaka kubihakana cyane mukabyemera ntibikimeze nka kera. Everybody became selfish. Abantu bose bihugiyeho barikunda. It's just me, me and my family. Ni ngiyewe, ni ngiyewe n'umuryango wanje. But this is the time. 
ariko iki nico gihe that you put somebody else before you yuko utekereza abandi mbere yo kwitekereza for the sake of the gospel ubwo impamvu ni ntumbero i don't even think we were supposed to come here and preach to go and spread the gospel when you have a bishop do you guys need the bishop to preach to you how to evangelize his life speaks even to us his life speaks how much he cares for people who are not his nation his life speaks i think a bishop should have come to usa a long time ago but because he loved the nation he's not pleased to go sit in america eat chicken in america drink a lot of milk get money from american people but guess what? In heaven, uh, Bishop, I don't even know where God is going to sit you. Which kind of sin? I think he has a special, special <laughs> chair for him. <laughs> and that's the truth. Amen. Do you guys love your bishop? Do you love your senior pastor? If you guys love your bishop then you got to do what he requests you to do. There's no way you can you can love somebody without giving. But you can give somebody without loving them. I don't know if you understand that. There's a possibility that you may give to somebody because he asked too much. But there's no way you can love somebody without action behind it. So the only way Bishop will know that you guys loved him. Everybody should take his own way left or right and front. Back. Start spraying the gospel and let him lay hands on you and pray for you. Amen. Amen. I know this this gospel is not famous. I know you all want to come to USA and earn some money. Which is it good. is good. But let me tell you, even in America there, there's so much trouble. More than here. Do you know that? A lot. A lot. Please. Redeem your time while you are here. You still have time. Number one crucial is time in America. You come to USA, you work three jobs. And then what you do here, you forget. Your personal time with God, you don't have anymore. The time with your family, you don't have anymore. My husband and I work for two years. That means I will come home and he will go. And then I ask him, I say, Do you remember that I'm your member? Yes. Because he will go to work, go home and take shower, go to church, spend most of the time at church, try to redeem time. Kubera yuko yavuga ku kazi akagera mu rugo agahita aja kwirusengera kugira ngo ashobore gutuganya neza Of course they're trying to be a good pastor to pray over for all his members. Birumvikana cyane ko yashaka ku umupasteli mwiza mu gusengera abakristo bibe bose. But at home everybody ask themselves I ask my kids have you seen your dad and they ask me have you seen that so it was just like that in two years. Two years. 
Can you find happiness if you don't see your husband at home? Until to the point I say you don't need we don't need that much money. We need you more than money. And my kids say yes, we need daddy. Yes, we need daddy. And my kids say yes, we need daddy. Until he left one job. We say forget about the God will provide. Kugeza ho yaretse akazi kamwe cyangwa ati byibagirwe Imana izadutunga. But at the same time the church wasn't good wasn't doing good either because he was working and then pray half. He wasn't giving the church that Ariko much. Ariko mwibuke ko habe ni kanisa najo ntijyagenda ganeza cyane kubera yuko yarakoraga noneho agasa umwanya we wundi muto akawuhereza kanisa apana wose. I say forget about it. You don't satisfy us, you don't satisfy the church either. Then you quit your job. Ndamugane no wundi ntutunyuze twebwe ntunyuze ni kanisa ako kazi kareke. See in America there's so much trouble. Murabona muri America hari ibazo byinshi. You see how you call my my relatives are here they call me they can't find me because I'm too busy. Abavandimwe banje bari hano barampamagara se sho ntidushobora kubona nakubera yuko nta mwanya mbafite. And they think that is because I'm being arrogant. Bakibaza ngo nokwirata. No because I'm suffering. Oya hago ndi kubabara. I am suffering is not because who does he want to talk to their family member? Ndi kubabara ese ninde wundi takutya ninde utishimira kuvugisha abavandimwe biwe. So please redeem your time here in America in Africa. No no wenda babwira ngo mukoresha umwanya wanyu neza hano muri Africa. Pray double. Musenge mukubije. Reach out to double. Mugende mugende anire mukubije. Fellowship with your parents or your children. Musabane nababyeyi banyu cyangwa se abana banyu. Because when you get there, kubera ko nimana kugeririya, you be serving the money. Muzaba muri gukorera amafaranga. And the money will never give you happiness. Kandi amafaranga ntazigera bahereza umuneze. So my advice to you. No no inama nabagira. Please give your time. Mufata umwanya wanyu neza. Especially mother. Chane chana babyeyi baba mama. Mothers are far back home. They don't get you know the joyful is to see the mother sitting with their kids. Urabundu munezero no kubona mu mama yicanye nabana biyo mu rugo. You cook the food at home and the kids enjoy the food. mu rugo bakabyishimira abana. But you cook the food and the kids are not there to eat it. Ariko ubundi twegwiriye urateka ibiryo akabana nti babe bahari ngo babirye. Please shine with your kids. Ndabasaba ngo mushobore kusabana nabana banyu. Now I'm going to talk about my testimony. No no ngiye kuba intahe yanje. My name is Eme. Nitwa Eme. My name is Amy. I was born in Congo. Navukiye muri Congo. Don't look me like this. I'm too I'm too old. Nimunde begutya mfite imyaka itari mike. I'm about I'm, I'm 40 some. Okay. Mfite imyaka 40. So in 1998. Ikenda numunani. I have some people who who knows me. Hariho bamwe hano banzi. I have my uncle Kadume. He's here. Sorry to mention to say his name. Ite muyomba wanje Kadume yihangane ko mvuze izina ryiwe. And my nature I don't I don't say their name. I call them uncle but there's many uncle here. If I if I say his name then you will recognize him. Mu busanzwe ntago mvuga amazina yabo ariko impamvu mbivuze ni ubwangu mushobore kumumenya. In 1998 we were with I was with him in Congo. Ikenda no munana ari kumwe nawe muri Congo. He knows my parents. Araza babyeyi banje. Both of my parents. Bombi arabazi. Very well. Abasi neza cyane. So my dad was his his elder brother. Papa wanje yari mukuru wiwe. And he really respected my dad and loved my dad a lot. Kandi yarakunda kanuba ha papa wanje cyane. But when the war broke broke up. Ari kigiye ntambara yabaga. At that time I was I was 16 years old. When they start killing all the Tutsi. So my father was one of those people who got killed. Papa wanjire yari umwe muri abo ngabo bishwe mu ico gihe. Forgive me, Murani Hanganira. It is very emotional. Nibin who bitea Maranga Mutima Meshikan in Agahinda. So my dad was killed. Papa Wanje Yishku Ichojihe. So we were taken to prison. Hanimadu Kwagwa Muri Gereza. It was my mom, Edima Moanje, my eight siblings, Abavandi Nevanji Omunani. At that time, Ichojihe. My mother was pregnant. Icyo gye mama wanje yari yibongeze yaratwite. And she she did not know that she was pregnant. Ntiyarazi yuko atwite. So when we got to prison, igiye twajyaga muri gereza, 
Then she started getting sick. Atangira kurwara. Very sick. Aragwara cyane. Then she found out that she was pregnant. Hanyuma abari bwamenya yuko era atwite. Being in prison with a, a pregnant woman is difficult. Kuba muri gereza hamwe no mugoro twite ni ibintu bigoye cyane. So we stay in prison for 16 months. Twagumye muri gereza amezi 16. 16 months is not easy. Amezi 16 ntago byoroshye. And don't forget that I was 16 at the age of 16. The age of 16 is the age that you dream a lot. I could see my dad. I could see me graduating from school. But all those things was taken away from me. But thank God, the only one person that left for me, it was God. So I praise him a lot. So during that 16 months in prison, we suffer a lot. It wasn't just my family alone. It was, we were like a 32 people. So I was with one of the lady with her four kids. And she had just had a baby two weeks prior. Going she died on our, uh, our face. Her daughter died. Another, another woman which was my grandma died there. She, she died just because she couldn't bury the pain. So we were going to be when we were in prison. The worst things. They took the boy on one side. Which my dad was among them. They would take them out every morning. And they would put us in front of us where we can see. And they would unclothe them. And they would beat them up, us watching them. It was heartbreaking. And then they took the men and took them and killed them. But likely, one of the guys that was among them managed when they took them uh, to kill them, he jumped out of the car and ran away. But then he hid somewhere he could watch them shooting one by one and put them in water, throw them in the water. Then I was so mad at God. I said, what are you doing? Very angry. And I think you will also be angry. Because I'm going to save your time to judge me why I was angry at God because you will do the same. I was angry at God. I was God, I God, I said, God. You're the one who creates people. When you were creating people, I did not ask, ask you to create me who I am. Did I ever ask you to create me as a Munyamurenga? I said, no. I will answer myself. Because they will come to us and they will say, You see this nose? And then you ask yourself, What happened to this nose? I'm like, You want to do whatever you want to do, do it. But don't ask, Do you see this nose? Of course, it's my nose, I see it. We had one younger, young man. He was not dying because of the starvation. He became like so ill, you cannot tell his age. And then they will come to him. Some of the soldiers will grab his nose and bite his nose. 
bakarike amenyo yes yeah. and then the, the, he will start bleeding agatangira kuva maraso and then i'm like what a human being nkibaza uyu ni umuntu nyabaki how can you come on somebody's nose and bite somebody without ni gute ushobora kuza ukajya ukajya amenyo izuru ryo umuntu nta mpamvu so we witness those kind of of problems every single day twarabonye imwe nibyo bibazo buri munsi see like my mother like i say she was pregnant nkuko nayivuze mu mwanjara twite those people decide when to give us food when to not give us food abo bantu nibo bwabo bavuga giye bashaka kuduha ibyo cyangwa ntibanara biduhe so one time they decide us to to make us hungry for 15 days without food hanyuma haruho umunsi bo bwabo banzuye yuko batari buduha ibyo ku gihe cy'iminsi 15 15 days minsi 15 you cannot eat nta gushobora kurya ntushobora kunwa now imagine you you have eight kids and you're pregnant what can you do no no tekereza ufite abantu umunani kandi uratwite niki wakora and then the kids are coming to you say mom give us a food hanyuma abana baraza imbere yabakavuga ati mama dukeneye ibiryo i remember one of my brother came to my mother ndibuka ko umwe muri basaza wange yaje yaje kuri mama and he said mom please give us food aravuga ati mama ndakwingiza uduha ibiryo i remember my mom ndibuka ko mama wange because the prison that we were in kwego geza twa turimwe they decided to put us an open open big big house that they used to gather to make a meeting it has six doors and many windows but bashitse kudushya mu nzu nini nini cyane isa nkirangayeho bashoboraga kuza bakagakorera nka manama yabo yarafite imiryango myinshi n'amadirisha and then whenever the rain comes we will all get wet igiye cyose imvura yarwaga twese twaranyagirwa so one one day Hanyuma munsi umwe one of Kasayen lady umwe mu bakoga ba Kasayi came passing by yaraje ari guca aho hantu and he saw my mom crying abona mama wanje ari ari kurira and she say what why are you crying aramaze kuki uri kurira and she say that my kids are asking for food and and i cannot provide i don't have what to give them and i don't know how to answer them ndabwira ndamubwira arama mwanje aramubwira ati abana banje bari konsa bibiryo ntabyo mfite kandi sinza mbikura sinzi niko mbasubiza She went home. Yatashe mu rugo and grab a pot. Hanyuma azana i i sorori. Isafuria. Isafuria. She brought a pot. Azana isafuria. Brought water. Azana na mazi. And brought some of the leaves, you know, you know potatoes, the leaves for potatoes. Murabona ibyatsi nisombe amababi yibiraya yibijumba oya yibijumba yibijumba the sweet potatoes yeah amababi yibijumba yes and then she gave to my mom hanyuma ayihereza mama and she said boy I'll give it to her aravuga ati bitogoshe hanyuma bihe abantu because we could make a fire kuko twashobora gukora gucana muriro and she boil hanyuma aratogosha before mbere before the, the thing was was cooked mbere yuko ibyo biryo bishya we had a guard we had a soldier around us who who doesn't want us to escape hari hari ho aba abasirikare baducunga batari bakeneye ko dutoroka came and took that and spilled that away hanyuma afata bya biryo barabimena so what my mom did icyo mwangi yakoze she took the same part yafashe yasufuria nyene and put the water ashaho amazi and then put on the fire ashira ku muriro and put one of the small cloth in it hanyuma ashiraho umwe umwe muri iyo sufuria so she start boiling that hanyuma tangira gutogosha ibyo just to give the child hope that something is coming kugira ngo ashore basi guhereza abana ibyiringiro yuko hari ikintu kiriko kirateye so the kids will not ask mommy we are hungry they will see that mommy is cooking kugira ngo abana ntibongere kandi kugira mama ngo turashonje kuko bari kubona ko hari ikintu kiri kuziko so imagine if you are a mother utekereze uri umubyeyi you are not just able to tell your kids that you cannot provide for them no no ntushoboye gusa kubwira abana bawe ko udashobora kubaheriza ibyo barya now you are giving them a false hope ariko no 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 uri kubaheriza ibyiringiro bidahari it's hard biragoye cyane very hard 
biragoye cyane then i ask god hanyuma mbaza imana do you see this ese bino ri kubireba do you see this bino ri kubireba it's all your fault niko saryawe so my mom start praying and say god you must kill me i don't want to see this hanyuma mwonye tanga gusenga avuga ati aho guwa nanyica bino singomba kubireba so everybody was praying their individual prayer abantu bose tumva ko basengaga amasengesho yabo kugite then i will say i don't want to see this my mom said the same thing my brother says the same thing nje narasenga nkavuga nibintu sinshaka kubibona mama wanjye agasenga ibyo basaza wanjye agasenga so beside the starvation uretse no no ho kugira inzara nyinshi then the conflict became between us no no ho inzanga nizitangira kuba hagati yacu big 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 issue ikibazo gikomeye cyane big issue ikibazo gikomeye cyane there were three lady with 32 kids hariho abagore batatu nabana 33 after those 15 days they decide to give us rice nyuma ye misi 15 banzuye kuduhereza umuceri so they will take they will take six they will take eight cup for 32 people bafataga ibikombe umunane kubwa abantu 33 now imagine how can how can you cook that no no te ibyo bintu wabiteka ute abantu 33 regardless of what some people will eat and some other will left out batitaye ho kubyo bangwe bari burye abande bagasigaza then the, the mother say my kids did not get any portion hanyuma babye bakavuga ati abana banje nta nta mugabane numwe babonye and then they will start pointing fingers hanyuma bagatangira none ho gutunga nintoki say your kids ate so much and my kids did not have it abana bakavuga bati abana baba bariye cyane nange abana banje ntibariye can you imagine that conflict uca gutekereza izo nzangane cyangwa se izo ntongane hagati yacu is not easy ntago byari byoroshye then these three women decide to whenever they bring those eight cups of rice they will divide according to their numbers hanyuma abana bagore batatu barantura yuko buri giye bazaza bazana ibyo bikombe umunani by'umuceri bazajya babigabura bagendeye ku mubare w'abantu and one of them said no umwe muri bo arahakana we have one part dufite umugabane umwe we have one of the safria imwe dufite sorry we will all always cook together and feed them together tuzajya twese dutekera hamwe tubagaburire hamwe but it, it wasn't it wasn't right ako ntago byari bikwiriye because she knew it one of them knew it uko umwe muri bo yarazi neza she really did not look like banyamurenge she had a big nose so she she felt like she was a more privileged ntago yasaga n'abanyamurenge yarafite izuru rinini yumvaga nkaho menga we akwiriye byinshi and she start saying i am congolese you guys are randis akatangira kuvuga ati ngiye ndo mukongomane mwe muri abanyarwanda i've been here for longer than you i speak even the language more than you do so you better submit to what i said maze hani gikiye kire ntangira no kuvuga nuri mirwaha ngaha mugomba kubaha ibyo mvuga and the other women say no we are all here jail people we half and half hanyuma bande bagore bakavuga ati ekada twese hano turaba turabantu bafunzwe tugomba kuba dufite umugabano ngana she said no i am the boss here akavuga ati oya hano ninge boss and she start cooking the, the food that she would give to her kids everybody else would left out hanyuma gatangira guteka ibiryo agahereza abana biwe abandi bose bakabura my mom said no way mama wange rahakana is not gonna happen bino ntego bishoka she said no we will we will go and tell them give to each family hanyuma ravuga ngo tuzagenda tubabwire ngo mujye muhereza buri muryango she said we are not going to to these soldier people they will take this food away aravuga ati ntago turi bugende kubwira abana basirikare bino bijyo barabitwaka so she said no we will do it aravuga ati ka twe turabikora at that time i was the one who really speak that language very well i could speak like like a sayen without any question without any problem i knew how to talk i knew how to behave i knew what they like i knew what they want to expect icyo gihe nge narinzi kubaho cyangwa se kuvuga irurimi rwabo rwa bakasaya narinzi ibyo bakunda nibyo badakunda then they request me to go translate for some of those who does not speak hanyuma nge baransaba kugenda ngo nshobore gusemure no kuvugira abamwe badashobora kwivuganira and they ask me do you agree that we should divide the food according to the families hanyuma nge barambaza uratekereza ko tugomba kugabura ibiryo bingana nkuko imijyange ngana i say yes ndavuga nti yego my mom was in pain of course i'm going to say yes mama wange yarababaye murabyumva ko yego ndi ndi bwemere so the lady who was in charge said no now you are my enemy hanyuma murabyumva uwo mugore wundi wari yigize bossi tubaduhindutsa bansibiwe 
So because they were so afraid of her, the other women say, okay, I don't have a problem if we cook together. My mom says, still, I'm not. Then they start giving us food. No, no, what I'm to the family. But the other family member went with the lady who was in charge with. But I'm going to do her if you again, they come over by her as a brimur young. I recall one day, but again, that was she can own the Mugore on the. I remember my mama will take the rice. And, and she will say, Lord, you can multiply. And she will cook. She will make a like she want she will make a like a porridge. She won't make a like a re regular rice. So everybody can take some portion. At least she could have a peace. But when her peace came, but the devil also was working through the other lady. She said, you will never have a peace while I live. And she said, one word did that trouble my mother and my brother. She looked on my mother's face and said, look. The friend has died, which is my dad. But the enemy has left. My mama said, it is not a problem. Then my brother, who comes after me, say no way. It is not possible for you to insult my mom and my face. No. Say no. Say, from now on one more time you do it one more time I will kill you so then the problem came she went to, to the military and said that we have an enemy in this in this prison but that time we had to clothe them with the, with the women's clothes because they hate boys so much. Because if you are a boy, you are enemy. We all know that when you are a lady, you can marry whoever you want. They can marry you. They can use you for their own purposes. So they were so afraid of the boys. So she went and said, We have a one man here who making trouble here. And he said, he, When our people remember that they were fighting, he said, When run these people come here, they will kill you. So it became not her problem, it became those soldiers' problem. And she said, now the problem, bigger problem, more than food. So my brother has to find a way to escape a little bit and go in a bush to hide. So he had to hide for two weeks. But we can see him from far, but there is a lot of bushes. But the soldier will come every single night to look for him. Then my mom, you know our, our culture is, they put boys ahead. Which I will do the same thing. And my mom is like, now my firstborn son, even though I'm firstborn, but my firstborn son, my son. My mom is going to be killed. Now I don't have reason to live. Even though she has eight kids and she's she's pregnant, but she could she could see one. It's like 
the father is dead and the first born son is dead is dying it's hard remember that time she was pregnant not too long from those time that we were going through that trouble from my brother she gave a birth in prison you gave birth when everybody are watching your kids are watching so the other woman say Amy you come and stand here stand here so you can cover your mom and then let her give birth so, so I would chase my brother away I say you go away you know and she couldn't she, she could not even cry she buried the pain so she had a, she had a baby and the first baby came out and she said I, I still feel something give me water and the lady who was close to her said no I think you have a second baby. And she said, God cannot do that. He cannot give me two babies here in this prison. And she said, just a push. And she pushed, another baby came out. So there was two. And then I said, God. She's doing good. <laughs> She's doing very good. Thank you. I say, God, aren't you merciful, God? So I became so angry. I say, my mom had eight kids. She did not, she didn't need the ninth and tenth at all. You look, look these kids. But my mama said, Thank God. God give, He will provide. And she just said that to just say it. I knew she was mad as well. Then imagine, we didn't have nothing to give to her to eat. And she said, there was nothing to give at all so she decided she was a very clever very very smart and she said okay this is what I'm going to do I am going to name these kids the name of commander yeah. there was two commandos and and she said one of them is going to be Andre the other one will be Gelo in Bujimai when you name somebody you became automatically their parent my uncle named somebody he could relate so commando Gelo was the very, very worst commander you can ever see. Commander Gelo, Yarumu commander, Ukarishi Chiani or Sholaga Kuanaunga. He already dig a big grave for 50 people to throw us in. And we went and see the grave. Tukara get Raybon. We knew he was coming for us. Once he, once he heard that my mother named him. And then also name his partner. They were confused. They call us enemy. And they say, how can an enemy name their own child after your name? And they name their own child And they start getting confused. Are these really run these people? Are these our enemies? And 
So Andre's wife came with food. Umugore wa Andre azanye ibiryo. Made a tea, akuri chai, some 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 bread, umukate, brought to my mom. Awuzanira mama. That day my mom ate. Icho giye mama wanje wabonye ibiryo. But then what's going to happen tomorrow? Ariko se ubwo ngubwo ubukeye bwawo niki kizahibi. Then we wait for God. Dutegereza Imana. But remember my brother still hiding in the bush. Ariko mwibuke ko musaza wanje aca ari kwinyegeza mu gihuru. And I was sorry there's so many things. I don't think if we say we will stay here until tomorrow. Do you want to stay here until tomorrow? Na makuru menshi tuyavuze ho twanageze ejo. Ese mwashashaka kugumana kugeze ejo. Should we continue or should we just make a brief and then next time when we come back here when the bishop invited us and then we will we will continue. Should we continue bishop or should we? Dukomeze se cyangwa se tuzabikora ikindi gihe bishop amaze kutubwira. Bishop say continue my husband say hurry. Bishop yavuze ngo komeza mutware wange yavuze ngo nyarutse. I will try to obey both of them. Ndagerageza kuba habombi. So during that time after my mom had a baby. Ico gihe rimo wange amaze kwibaruka. Then my brother was still hidden. Umusaza wange nubundi ari kwa rinyegeza. And my mom say I'm still I, I can't find a peace. I can't find joy. Mama wange akavuga ati sinshobora kubona umunezero n'amahoro. Then I we sat down we say what can we do? Twavuga ati nikise twakora. So one of the commander came umwe mu bakomando araza and say i like this lady aravuga kuti uno mugore yanshimishije that, and that no he said he liked me aravuga kuti nakunze uyu muvandimwe embe uyu mukobwa yeah that time i was young ico gihe nare nkiri muto was in this world so and he say if you give me your daughter aravuga kuti numpereza umukobwa wawe I will save your brother because he knew the case. He was he had something to say. He can save who he he want to save. Aravuga ngo numpa umukobwa wawe ndashobora kurokora musaza wa umwana wawe w'umuhungu kuko yarazo uko iko ibintu bimeze kandi yari afite ububasha bwo gushobora kurokora umuntu no kumwica. He took me. Hanyuma aramfata. I know it's shameful. Ndabizi ko biteye isoni. I know it's shameful for for our people. Ndabizi yuko kuri twebwe biteye isoni. But that's my story. Ariko iyo niyo nkuru yanje. So I had to go and redeem my brother. Hanyuma nashoboye kugenda kugira ngo nshobore kurokora musaza wanje. So at that time my that guy did save my brother. Ico gihe byukuri uwo mugabo yararokoye musaza wanje. I I I thank God for that. Ndabishimira Imana. Even though I have the scar, nubwo afite kino gikomere, but I I don't regret. Ariko ntago mbyicuza. Like I say our people won't understand so I had to save my brother nkuko nabivuze ndabizi ko abantu bacu batabyumva ariko nagombaga kurokora musaza wanje eh he saved my brother kandi byukuri rero kwe mu kusaza wanje so together with him and those commander iwe nawo bakomando hurry hurry our case and say take these people out of here baravuga ati bano abantu mubakure hano so they send us to kinchasa but kohereza kinchasa so at that time i was pregnant ico giye nari ntwite so we went to Kinshasa. Tujenda Kinshasa. We were there for a few months. Twahamaze amezi make. So remember my mom had twins. Mwibuke ko mama wange yarafite impanga. They were at that time they were 9 months. Ico gye barafite amezi 9. But they couldn't even wait 2 pounds. Ariko nti bari bashobora no kupima ibiro biri munsi ibiro bibiri. So when we went to Kinshasa, bag tugiye Kinshasa. They put us in, an, in another prison. But tukora mu indi gereza without food. Nta biryo. When they decide to give us food, they cook beans for 
for like 20 minutes and they will give it to us to eat and then when you start eating the food the, the beans is not cooked and everybody gets diarrhea everybody gets sick so one day my mom was sitting at 4 o'clock in the morning holding the two babies and Josephu Kabila, the, the the prior the primary president not the not the father the son Kabila, Joseph the Kabila son. le fils yeah he came Araza. and saw my mom and said what are you doing here he said, why? And then he say a lot of bunch of kids little kids akabona abana I say, why are these kids? He asked the soldier, why are these kids here? And what is all this woman with two babies doing here? And he said, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Here's the money. Give them food. Feed them. And take them to Red Cross. Red Cross. When we went to Red Cross. We find many people there. But most of them were Congolese. But they were there on the name of Banyamurenge and also Tutsi. And then everybody saw us and they were so afraid. And they would come and say, Are you guys a human being? Are you alive? This is. They couldn't tell whether we, we are human the way we looked. Everybody came with the cloth. Remember, we don't have a cloth. They came. This one came with two. This one comes with three. And then they clothed us. So they start feeding us. They look on the twins. They were two white white people. And they look at the kids. And they say, This is impossible. It is not impossible. They could wait them many times. And they will call each other, Is this is this skill working? Is it really working? They will measure them. They really had a big head. And you could count their ribs. They said, I really, this, what happened? So we stayed there for at least a month only. So they hurry our process. I remember we were the first flight at that time. What they tried to do, they tried to take my mom with the kids. The and my mother said, I will never go. I can't go with these dead two, two kids and leave. The eight kids behind. And she said, I will not leave these people that we suffer together. We will not go. So they were, they were obligated to hurry all of us's case. Within one month, they took us to Cameroon. In Cameroon, we stayed for six months. They also came and said, these kids cannot stay here any longer. But that time, I was so ill. I was pregnant. And I was seven months pregnant. But I was very ill. I don't know if it was because of starvation, because we had food and Red Cross. But I got so ill. So they had to take me to the hospital. So I, I had to have, I had a baby on seventh month of my pregnancy. And I had to stay in hospital for two, two months. 
for the baby to recover. But even though I'm saying this, when the guy took me, he beat me every single day. He tried to kill me. He burned my clothes when I was wearing my clothes. People would come and rescue me. So sometimes those images will come into my mind. So after having a baby, I felt so shame. So shame took my life. So I say my life was over. Now I had a now I had a child. I have to behave well. But at the same time the depression was much higher. I start seeing people look me as a fool girl. They could judge me, I could tell. I made a vow when I was so young. I made a vow to my father that I will keep myself holy to just honor him. But then I said, I don't know. Now people can just despise my father. They can call me names. Many names. Many. Many. So depression took me so much. And then So we stay in Cameroon for six months. And they took us to America. When we got to America, we could cry to come here, to, to, come, to come back to Africa. We want to see people who speak the same language. We were the only first one there as a Banyamurenge in, uh, in Arizona. So I am depressed. My mother is depressed. So two people depressed in the house, the only thing you will get is depression. Just because my, my, I was beaten so much, my son was born with, uh, with cerebral palsy. So it's the, it's the sickness that takes you from one side from your, 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 your brain. So the doctor asked me, What's, what happened to you? I couldn't tell what happened. I say, I'm not going to tell them because they will judge me. I say I'm not going to tell them because you cannot tell those people that I was beaten and they will say well, where was your mother so it's a big case once you, you engage in some report it will be a report for the rest of your life so I decided to keep this in my heart. At the age of 18, 21, 22, and then I start asking myself, what's going to happen to my life? Am I going to get married? Who's going to marry me? Who will allow somebody who's not holy in their home to take them as their wife? Especially in our culture. Then I decided I said I would not get married. I remember I told my grandpa he couldn't speak to me for two weeks. 
ndibuka yuko nabibwiye sogokuru nti yashowe kumvugisha mu kiringo cy'imyo cy'ibyumweru bibiri so i'm not going to talk to you unless you tell me that you will get married arambira ati ntago nzongera kukuvugisha kugeza igihe uzambira kuzashakwa I was very depressed at the age of 21. But the good thing was my uncle had to come from Bene to live with us to help us. My uncle, my my mom is brother. Uh yes. yes. She got it. He came. Araza. I love that man so much. He could hold me. Yeah, I say, you are well made. You are in God's image. You are getting married to the right person who will love you, who will care for you, and we are here for you. So remember in our culture mwibuke yuko mu bwoko bwacu cyangwa se muri culture yacu when somebody is trying to date you iyo umuntu ariko aragukimba ariko arakurambagiza kurambagiza you have you have to you have to hide everything that maybe you have done ugomba kuguhisha ibintu byose warakoze muri kahise kawe you don't have to tell them what she went through oya ntsingo mwangu wabwira ibyo wanyuzemo but my heart couldn't allow me ariko umutima wange ntiwashobora kubinyemerera Every time somebody will come to date me iburi gihe umuntu wose yaza gashaka kunshaka I will push them by telling them that I have a child Narabirukanaga nkababwira nti ngiye mfite umwana Until one of my aunts say you don't need to tell them Kugeza igihe umwe umwe mu ba aunts banje ambiye ati singo mwa ngo babwire And then I say they deserve to know who I am Nkababwira nti bagomba barakwiriye kumenya uwo ndiwe They must know bategerezo kumenya so they can know how to help me kugira ngo bashobore kumenya uko bamfasha bashi said no akavuga ngo eka so when my husband came in my life igiye mutware wange yazaga mu buzima bwanje he was not the first one ntago yari uwa mbere not at all habe na gato there was many people before him hari ho benshi mbere yiyo so once they find out that i had a child igiye cyose bamenyaga ko mfite umwana they would just go slowly quietly they don't say anything so when my husband and I were dating actually I give him hard time the first time he sent me a message I said this is another munyamurenge who just comes uje to just play with my mind. I couldn't respond for 3 months when I responded. He wanted to know me. I told him my dad's name and that was it. I said that's who I am. He asked me a chance to speak. But I never give it to him. I remember after like a four months my aunt had to send the money in Uganda and then he came and saw my picture His, my husband sent me before he became my husband he sent me a picture umutware wange mbere yuko ambere umutware yanyunga ikifoto so i made a mistake i printed and put in my in my room Hanyuma nkuri kosa ndaye printing ndaye shamite mu cumba cyane. So my aunt came. Hanyuma umutante wanjaje. And he said who is this guy? I know him. Aravuga ati uyu ninde ndamuzi. And then I said forget about that. Ndamuga ati gihorera. He goes like I know him. Aravuga ati ndamuzi. And he asked what he asked me where does this guy live? Arambaza ati uyu muntu atuye he. I say he lives in Uganda. Ndavuga nti atuye muri Uganda. He said okay can I send the money through him to, for my pastor? aravuga umutante wa mama wa cyarambye ati ndashobora kuhereza amafaranga ndanyujuje kuri uyu nguyu kwiye ngo ayahereze mu pasteli wanje I said go for it ndangwa ni nari and then so she called him no no aramuhamagara and then when they spoke 
And he said, can I talk to Amy? I heard that you live with Amy. So she called me. She said, come, somebody want to talk to you. And then so I went upstairs. It was him. He said, do you know who I am? I said, no, I don't know. And in my mind, I was like, I don't even want to know. And then he said, I am so and so who tried to reach you out and then you couldn't communicate with me. And he said, I really need a wife. That's how he said. And then I loved you. And I said, come on. I said, okay. I said, okay, I will respond back to you. That's how we all do. Then I call him. I say, okay, I'm going to tell you who I am. Because I knew he was going to become a pastor. I hate a pastor. I'm going to be honest with you. Not right now. Before. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Before, I didn't like a pastor. I know the life of pastors. Because my grandpa was a pastor. They didn't have a private life. I can say in Bishop's house, everybody are welcome. Every day they say, God said they will go. So me as a wounded person, depressed, I didn't want to deal with the pastors and people. Remember, pastors are holy people. Pastor Ken was a pastor. He was a pastor. He was a pastor. He was a pastor. He was a pastor. Everything. This this man is a man of God. You can you can clap hands for him. I I told him the reason why I'm telling you this. So you will save your time on becoming shameful to other pastors. Because my testimony had it to go out and he will be involved. All the time. If he will be ashamed for me to say that I had a child before marriage and then you don't need to marry me because save your time. I don't know who And then he said, I know your story. You know our people knows how how to give news. Everybody knows. It doesn't matter how much you can hide. They know. So you might as well make a testimony and give God the glory for it. He said, I know. I said, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And he said, yeah, everything. He said, yeah, I know. And then I'm not ashamed of that. And he said, I thank God that you survived. And you survived for me. Especially. I said, this man is sick. He's sick. I said, I thought I was the only one who's sick. He must be sick. In our community, there's not a man like this man. They will just go slowly. They will tell you, thank you. You look beautiful. But they will never involve in your life. And then I say, go ahead and think again. He went and think again. He said, I know. And then I ask, so you think I can be your wife? He, he said, of course. A good wife. Not a just a wife. A beautiful wife. I said, I said, 
I say no. The, this 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 is not true. Ndavuga nti kai ibi ntagaru. I say go ahead and think again. Genda wongere utekereze kandi. Finally, nyuma yabwo, he say yes. Aravuga ati yego. Yes. Yego. And then he give me some, you know, pastors knows how to talk, very humble, few words. Kandi murabiza pastor bazi kuvuga aciye bugufi amagambo make cyane. At least mine. Ah, okay. My pastor. Uwanje, pastor uwanje. My pastor. pastor I don't uwanje. know uh, your pastors. Singe kuvugira wanyu, ndavugira okay. wanyu. Let me not talk about your pastor Eka because I don't know pastor your pastor. Si but mine was a very humble and very loving. Ariko pastor wanyu, yari um pastor uciye bugufi kandi ukunditse cyane. Even though I knew God. Nubwo narinzi imana. I consider him like my spiritual father. Naramubonaga we nka papa wanje mu mwuka. He's my husband. Ni mutware wanje. He is my spiritual father. Ariko ni papa wanje mu mwuka. Because I I saw love in him that I never see anywhere else. Kwa ko nabonye urukundo muri we ntigeze mbona handi. So today, uyu munsi, I'm not just his wife. Ntago gusa ndo umugore wiwe. We serve long together. Dukorana cyane byinshi. So I'm leaving a testimony. Nduhamya bwigendera. So it's not just a serving with him and he just as husband and wife. Ntabwo ari ukubana cyangwa se gukoranira na nk'umugore n'umugabo. Should I say it? Mbivuge. <laughs> because of God using him. Kubera ko Imana kumukoresha. He realized that yabonye ko he would not reach far ntabwo azagera kure without the both serving fully 100% into the ministry kwembi babiri tudakuranye mu bwuzure muri ministere cyangwa se muri imana otherwise you wouldn't see me with him here i will be home working but he said ari kuko ubundi ntimwari kumbona hano nari kwa ndi mu rugo ndi gukora ariko yaravuze ngo the rest of your life ubuzima bwa usigaranye you are going to serve uje gukorera serve god only gukorera imana yonye ne with all your heart no mutima wawe wose if you see me crying is not because i'm wounded nimba mumbora ndiko ndarya sikubera ko mfite igikomere it's because i see god is hand in hand kubera nikubera ko nabonye koko ku imana mu buzima bwa he healed me yarankijije using my husband akoresheje umutware wanje using my my uncle akoresheje marume using many other people who show me love akweje abantu benshi cyane banyiritse urukundo now i have something to tell the women ubu ngubu nange ndafite ico nabwira abandi bakore i can stand boldly ndashobora kubivuga mpa and tell the women that if god can do for me nkababwira ni nimba imana yarabinkurengewe if god can heal my depression nimba imana ishobora kunkiza gahinda gakabije why not you kubere iki utabi gukore he will do for you izabi gukorera wewe trust me unyize if he has done for me nimba yarabinkurengewe he will do for you izabi gukorera nawe just stand boldly ari kuhagaze uhagara ushiza amanga if you have a child nimba ufite umwana who are not on the right path at batari mu nzira nziza mother babyeyi stand bold muhagare mushisamanze muhagare ku maguru yanyu seek god mushakishe imana seek the kingdom of god mushakishe ubwami bw'imana kandi mwizere yuko god imana will be on your side imana izabiri kumwe namwe he said don't worry about tomorrow yaravuze ngo ntimukiganye ku byesho you must not to worry about tomorrow because he who is on your side is ko wa wundi wa mwandere wawe he can take you from ashes he can take you from nowhere ashogukura hantu akagushira hantu hakomeye same god yo niyo yamana same god yo niyo yamana who healed my wound yankijije ngiye bikomera byanjye also hear your wound ashogukiza bikomera byanjye i cannot finish this without thanking my husband si nshobora kurangiza bino ntashimiye umutware wanje i know in our culture ndabizi ko muri culture yacu mu mico yacu we like to hide our emotions biratworohera cyane turakunze kunyegeza amaranga mutima yacu and i know here and release you guys are, are very holy people kandi bize no muri release muri abantu banyenyekeye cyane baberanda but I, I, let me thank my allowed me to thank my husband munyemerere nshimire umutware wanje my husband i thank you ndagushimiye cyane umutware wanje i will also submit 
under your anointing as a, as a wife, I will always, always, always be obedient to you. May God continue to anoint you. May he continue to enlarge your heart to reach the nation. Let me thank this church. I would like to thank a bishop for allowing my husband and Hope of Life to work together to bring many to Christ. And bishop, trust me. Trust me. God will will do it for his glory. May God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank you for na imefika kwa maneno ya kutamatisha ndao wango ese ni gute bazabashimwa nikajiswali niaje watu wanashukuru ndao wango rekanshima bashimira abantu bangana gutya nikasema acha ni shukuru ndao wango rekanshima ndao wango rekanshimire na wasiwe muri amerika acha ni shukuru kwa niaba ya wageni from us huko ndao ndi munsi nienda dushobora gutera nabanga na gutya hamwe na bashitsi bacu kwa sababu hakuna siku yengine nitaweza kushukuru tukiwa na wageni ichambere nshimiye imana first na shukuru mungu uh, imana ishobora byose mungu muweza yote nshimiye imana yabashore kuva muri amerika mukagezana mukagera hana mahoro nashukuru mungu aliyewaongoza kutoka us hadi kufika hapa nshimiye imana yarinze eme nashukuru mungu aliyemlinda eme no muryango wose bari kumwe na familia yote ambayo walikuwa pamoja iyo parikuru yose iyo istwari yose kuva mbujimai kugeza bari muri amerika ugeza nanone iyo story yote from mbujimai hadi sahi imana yabikoze yabarinze ihabwe icyubaye mungu aliye walinda apewe sifa twabanye nabo tumeishi na wao arabana batoya imbujimai wakiwa watoto wadogo bujimai musa azumu kurikira ngo ni john brother yake wa kumfuata anaitwa john nje wona ari muri ka cancer ba itaoni cancer ya gifolisi mimi nilikuwa kwa hiyo kai inaitwa kansele yararuse ho muhungu wanje mutoya muhungu waje mukuru ngo ni mitera alikuwa mkubwa kiasi kuliko mitera ni ngumwa kumwe gusa cyangwa ibiri bari baratu cyangwa umwa kumwe ni gice more than 1 year or 2 years iwe kenshi yabagi wanje muri kakaza kamari iminsi myinshi agihe cyo mashuri kita siku mingi alikuwa na ka kwangu Istwara vuze nje wenda yiziku nazani kurikira na kurushuko mwebwe muhaye muyumba. Istoria amesema mimi naijua zaidi. Kuba imana yabaruri yarabarinze. Kwa sababu Mungu amewalinda, uyu ni umukobwa wanje, uyu ni msichana wangu, se yari mukuru wanje. Ah baba yake alikuwa brother yangu. Jewe na rumupolisi, uyu se yari umucuruzi. Mimi nilikuwa polisi baba yake alikuwa mfanyabiashara. Twabanye mvuki chasa inzimbu jimai nabaye mwafu eh tuliishi na wao kutoka kinchasa tu bujimai nilikuwa nakaa kwao madame yansanze mwafu mke wangu alinipata nikiwa kwao turabana turabana mu mesi mike ya tuona uh, inzu murika tugenda murika tukaishi na wao siku chache tukapata nyumba tukaenda kwa ka uh, shimi mana ko dusuye kuona nashukuru mungu kwa sababu tumeonana mara tena shimi mana ko nabana bose bahari nashukuru mungu kwa sababu watoto bado ni hai shimi ni mana ko namukecuru mama wa bahari nashukuru mungu pia kwa sababu ma, mama yako bado ako hai shimi no kuona bishop umukwe wanje nashukuru pia kuona bishop mai my son in law imana ihabwe cyubahiro mungu asifiwe sana mureke mbabwire ikintu natekereje acha niwaambie lile ambalo nimefikiria hari ikintu natekereje byo muzo kwizera muzo mwoka 
Kuna lile nimefikiria kwa yale uh, yanaendana na kuamini. Sinzu ko mubitegera cyangwa muzaki. Sijui vyenye mutakavyo vichukulia. Ah, uh, twabanye nabo ngira umupagane. Tuliishi na wao bado nikiwa mupagane. Yari umwana muto ari ko yaranze. Alikuwa mtoto mchanga lakini alikuwa ananijua. Njewe nashobora kugusinda kuwa mbere nkageza ku minsi 33. Mimi ningeweza kulewa uh, 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 to, uh, from tare moja to tare selasini. Natangiru kundu kwezi kakurangiza ndu musini. Naanza mwezi hadi mwezi ingene nikiwa mlevi. Ibzo bihebzara tambu tsubu tukwa wanya gakiza. Uh, iyo step imepita ni tumeona okofu. Icho na tekele jekuri hivi ya vuze. Lenye nimefikiria kuhusu haya meongea. Kenshi mani ingi tuza tugi ilu wahano. Mara kadhaa Mungu huyu ambaye tunaongelelewa hapa tuzadushira mu bwenge bwacu tunaweka akili yetu imana ni mbara buze ngo iziheshe icubahiro ikiwa Mungu amesema kwamba atajitukuza imana ni mbara buze ngo iziheshe icubahiro a travers wowe kama Mungu amesema kwamba atajitukuza through you izagucisha mu nzira zayo atakupitisha njia zake zikubera umuravumba cyangwa nziza Ziku, ziwe kali kwako ama ziwe nzuri uzazi chamu lazima utapitia kugira ngo imana iziha iziheshe icubahiro ili mungu aweze kujitukuza sizi ni bado atwumvikana turuzi ibyo byose yakiye mu ayo mateka yose no kugira ngo none hagarare hana vuge imbaraga zimba haya yote ambayo meyatitia ni kwa sababu leo aweze kusimama hapa na aongeye kazi za Mwenyezi Mungu. Yaba mahali muzumva kuko mbitekereza. Munge kwa munaelewa muna, muna kama vile ninavyofikiria. Turuzi mana Mungu nibutse ari nibutse unyi na yavuga. Mu bukwe bwa kana nimekumbuka sahi akiwa anaongea kwa muzi wedding cha, ya kana. Muzi cha tumye vino ishira. Kwa nini eh, juice imeweza kuisha? Ah, uti kuswa hiri nindu uswa boru Mureka kuseka, mureka kuseka Na kanya gato Muzi chatu mye vino ishiru mwusi Umusi uomu ukwe buwa kana Unajua kwa nini vino ilisha siku ya harusi Kwa haru kugira ngumani Ichuva hiro cha yesu Chambere cha sosu mwusi vini ishiru Ilikuwa ni kwamba yesu ajitukuze siku hiyo Semeni amena Amen Nukuwa ngo vino ya rashize Awa angiri bukwe wa rarakara Vino iliisha wenye harusi wakarusika Kwa haru kugira ngo yesu Yihe ishi chuba hiru Ilikuwa ni kwamba yesu akajitukuzi Bibi nizuwa ngo nicho chuba hiru chambere yesu Yihe ishi kuko era kiruma Bibi ya nasema yesu ni mara ya kwanza alipo jitukuza Kugira pase, Bishop ya wivuz Bishop ya mesema Kuvera zikiere kuizera kuibu Kwa sababu ya imani ya ezekiel Imani kamuri nda kuri ugani intari. Mungu alimlinda kukuliwa na asimu. Go asote. Alipotoka. Ibi ugi janani mirongu vidi. Inchi miya na ishirini. Ibi ugi janani mirongu vidi. Inchi miya na ishirini. Jai shizi mani chuba. Wali mtukusa mungu. Kuncha amake rika nika mbuge ito chaka kufuka. Kwa ufupi wacha ni mani shi. Kuncha amake. Kwa ufupi. Kuncha amake. Kwa kifupi. Harimzo tuza duhura na vizo tuka ginangoni ibibazo. Kuna mamba ambayo tunakumbana. Na huko tunagwa nyubu imigambi yima. Lakini tunapiganisha mapenzi ya mungu. Kugirango uimukoga hagara reha. Ili huyu aweze kusimama. Tacho vitangu mbele. Hakuna anaweza kuzuhia. Hamu gambi numwe wa vitangu mbele. Hakuna yule anaweza kuzuhia. Nimbi maana ala vizango uno neni misi viru kwezi kwa gata. Ikiwa mungu alisema leo nitare umbili kwezi wa sita. Azo hagara raha na vugi mbara gazi maana kukome. Atasimama hapa na kusema nguvu za mungu. Inzire achi ye mwanda wa oi hagarisi. Njia alio pitia hakuna mtu wangeweza kusimamisha. Nicho gituma, ige tuzo watu hura ni bivazo. Ndiyo mana tunapo kabiliana na shida. Nine nari mwetu za tukui waza ngose niki. Wakati mungine tujiswali. Mungu kenshi mani, izi heshi churichi ya mwivazo otu. Kwa sababu mungu anajitukuza kupitia shida zetu. Ige uja mwesha wala kuridewe undi mwusi mwza mwira ngo mwiri zehano. Siku ya kuhubiri ya ataendelesha. Leka kuhubire mafie ngo imani hari. Wacha ni kuambie mstana wangu mungu walie. Ibizo sasa chini mukarugu rangu na na watu waza kumenye kandi wumva makuru ya wasuvizi manicho. Yote ambayo lipitia likuwa ni kwamba watu wote wajua wengu fusa mungu. Urgia mtu urgia mtu wakurubwa nish. Mtu yule ali kupiga nisha. Abu kanga ni mukongo mani kukuru. Akasema ni mukongo mani kukuru. Kuvira wa kofiti zuri nini? Kwa sababu yeye ana pua kuku. Uzamu wabari. Musamehe tu. Uzamu wabari re. Musamehe. Gus. 
Lakini hichi ngenzi no kuhagaze hano ugaheshe imani icubaye. La muhimu ni kwamba unasimama na kumtukuza. Izo waciye mono ugira ngo imani habwe icubaye. Ulivyo vipitia ni kwamba Mungu uweze kumtukuza. Taoku na na u ndao kuitanza umugambi wa ubugira ngo ugere muri America ndao hakuna mtu ambaye angezuia yeye narafunzwe narafunzwe muri 2000 2008 alifungwa nari muri prison central alikuwa katika prison kubwa hiyo na basirikare batura bafungwa vile tu watu wanafungwa fungirwa ikibazo gikomeye kandi nani nagikoza akafungwa kwa sababu ya makosa ambayo alikuwa amefanya nibo ba intervenir banohereje amafaranga wao ndio walitoa pesa iyo mutagenda ni gute imigambi y'Imana ni complete kama mungeenda umuririmbye umuririmbye yaravuze ngo ivy'Imana no bwiru Mungu alisema mambo ya Mungu ni siri ngo gusicyonzi no kwimana inkunda lakini nachokijua ni kwamba Mungu ananipenda ta uzi ivy'Imana nda uzi nzira z'Imana hakuna yule anajua nguvu zangu nzira zose tusoto cyangwa tuba ngo mano himba nguvu zo njia zote tuseme utukuzwe bwana mano shi utukuzwe hari nzira duhura mu zibibazo kumbe ko zira tujana handu heze kuna njia ambazo tunapitia na zina tupeleka mahali pasi mutegere Joseph Imana ishimwe Mungu asifiwe na namtukuza. Twakurikiraga makuru yose. Tulifuata. Ari kuvuga ngo tubone tubonanye twese. Lakini ikiwa tunaona ufite umugabo bishop. Ukiwa na mzai wako bishop. Na twe twara twara hawa gakiza kubona. Na sisi tumepatiwa ukofu kwa neema. Uzobwire mama ko natwe twahawa gakiza. Waambie mama kwamba wao pia waliokofu. Ubu natwe twamenye ima. Kwa leo sasa amemjua. Nubu turacafite inyote yo kumenye ima. Na bado tuna kiu ya kumjua Mungu. Ibisigaye imani yawe cyo bahe.